Hey, bliss, beautiful day, Grateful Gap family. Welcome into the Grateful Gap podcast. Um, you know, just truly a blessing, you know, for today. Truly a blessing to be able to have the ability to be consistent in something. Um, people don't really understand how difficult it is to be consistent in anything you do. You know, um, and your consistency is based off what you see is fit for you. You know, some people some people do things daily. Some people do things weekly. Some people do things monthly. Whatever it may be, but allow yourself the discipline to say to stay consistent. Because again, it's not easy. You know, I get up here and I'm blessed with life on these days that I have, and I dedicate my time to be able to speak Jehovah's word and speak, you know, um, my voice and you know my own words sometimes and, and things of that nature, but. You know, again, you know, being consistent is not the easiest thing in the world. Um, obviously, with consistency, you want to have a standard of performance, a standard of product. You know, you want to be able to put things out in the world that are up to your standard. And, um, you know, we serve, we, serve a, we serve a God, we serve Jehovah who, who has a standard. You know, he, he created this world to be perfect. And then blemishes were were implemented into his world, so he had to be able to up his standard for individuals to be worthy and be favorable in his eyes, to be a part of the perfect world that he he's planning on bringing to us. And even 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 with having a relationship with Jehovah, we have to have, we got to have consistency in that. You know, you have to have consistency consistency in your life, and um, be disciplined to be able to do that. And go forward with it. So, you know, make sure we stay in discipline. Make sure we're keeping our morals and values intact. Make sure we're not uh, selling out. Make sure we are not, you know, allowing Satan and his followers to to pull us further and further away from Jehovah. Because the more consistent relationship we have with Jehovah the more consistent Satan is going to try to poke at us and, and pull us away from Jehovah because he doesn't want us to know him. But consistency is the key. Make sure we're constantly praying. Make sure we're constantly learning. Make sure we're constantly speaking with Jehovah. Make sure we're constantly sp- sending our prayers to his son, Jesus Christ. You know, make sure we're constantly learning both of those gentlemen. And, um, you know, just again, stay consistent, man. Stay, stay motivated. Stay willing to learn, give knowledge, grow, fail, succeed, all those type of things. Because all those type of things come with consistency. And, um, Again, you know, make sure you just try to keep that in your life, man. You know, be a, be consistent at trying to be a better father. Be be consistent at trying to be a better mother. Be consistent at trying to be a better son. Be consistent at trying to be a better daughter. You know, be consistent in trying to be a better husband. Be consistent in trying to be a better wife. You know, all these type of things. Um, because at the end of the day, it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. We're going to learn more. We're going to go through. We're going to go through more. We're going to go. We're going to fail more than a normal person, but we're also going to succeed more than a normal person because when you're consistently trying trying to accomplish some things or accomplish something, you're going to fail. But again, eventually you're going to succeed. And then as we continue to take that with us in our life, we're going to have more failures, but we're going to have more success again, again than, the, than the normal person. So um, that's my message this morning. I want to get a daily verse before I get going. And uh daily verse for the day of March 12th, 2024. Derived from the book of Luke, chapter 20, verse 38. And it states as follows. He is a God, not of the dead, but of the living. For they are all living to him. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Luke, chapter 20, verse 38. And Jehovah is the living God, the true and living God. And again, 
He wants us to have consistency and seeking him, consistency in praying to him, consistency in speaking his name. You know, having 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 the ability to constantly re reject the naysayers and not allow them to tarnish and to dampen your spirit. So I love y'all. Be blessed. Stay positive. Stay worthy. We we're all sinners. But that doesn't mean that we're not able to, again, find favor in Jehovah. Our sins have been washed away and been forgiven because of Jesus. But we still have to be worthy of being acceptable for the new system. So I love y'all. Be blessed. Be consistent. Be safe. And until next time. Peace.